Hello everyone watching me out there. My name is Nini Kiriza Deborahin and I'm a student at University of St. Majaya, Yojakalta. And I'm going to present you this paper entitled Using Data Mining Techniques to Predict Students' Performance and it's a review paper. I'll begin by uh, explaining the background and the purpose of this paper. Uh, this paper is about student's performance prediction. I will define student performance prediction as the process of estimating an unknown student's mark. The importance of student performance prediction is that it helps uh, in monitoring the student's progress, both path and fail, and therefore it provides a gap for early interventions and decision making by the educators. The purpose of this study uh, was to find out the most suitable technology that can be trusted with predicting students' performance through uh, exploring the commonly used data mining techniques of uh, predicting student performance from the previous studies. The method used in this paper is that uh, the paper followed a systematic review protocol to summarize the existing information about student performance prediction. The different techniques by, uh, used by different researchers were studied by the researchers of this paper with the purpose of defining the most suitable and trusted method that educators can employ for student performance prediction. In this study, the, the, the researchers followed two research questions, and the questions were Number one, what are the most commonly used methods in predicting students' performance? Uh, and the second research question was, which one is the most suitable method for student performance prediction among the commonly used methods? <clears throat> this study used uh, a search strategy to uh, search for related studies using the search strings of students' performance and techniques or methods or applications or systems or processes or methodologies or procedures and education data mining and prediction or estimation. Uh, the database uh, resources of the research include Science Direct, Springer, I333, Google Scholar, and ResearchGate. Other sources of information related to this study included backtracking of relevant references from selected review articles and primary studies, conference proceedings, and as well as the internet. The such items considered were mainly journal articles and conference papers. The papers and articles considered in this review were mainly of the publication period between 2010 and 2020. Uh, the result of this study. After studying the commonly used methods, the researchers found out that the conventional methods used for student performance prediction are decision trees, naive bias, Kenya neighbor support vector machine and neural networks. All these methods were studied in detail with the purpose of finding out the best method. After studying the methods in details, the results were plotted on the graph to show the best method or to show how the methods uh, followed each other in their accuracy. From the results, uh, decision trees gave the highest accuracy of 98%. It was followed by naive bias, which gave an accuracy of 97%, followed by KNRS neighbor and support vector machines, which had the same accuracy of 94%, and lastly, artificial neural networks, which had an accuracy of 93%. In conclusion, there are four. Among the methods, uh, among the conventional methods used to predict student performance, the decision trees method proved to be the best method compared to naive bias, Kenyaris neighbor, support vector machines, and artificial neural networks. This is because uh, decision trees 
a simple to use and uh, the method has an ability to uncover small or large data structures and predict values which gives high accuracy. In conclusion, therefore, the results from the review uh, will help educators to monitor students' performance systematically by using student decision trees as the easiest and most accurate method to predict students' performance. Thank you so much. That is the end of my presentation.